My name is Jericho Whiting. I'm from Payson, Utah, which is about 75 miles south of Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a wildlife ecologist for the SM Store Corporation, which is a subsidiary of Huntington Ingalls Industries. The tough part of this job is working out here in remote locations with extreme weather. We've got 100 degree temperatures in the summer, sub-zero temperatures in the winter. This is tough, rugged terrain. As a wildlife ecologist, I track wildlife populations, track wildlife trends across time, and then also quantify habitat for wildlife. Stoller's role in protecting sage-grouse and sage-grouse habitat is really a collaboration with uh, federal and state agencies. We work hand-in-hand -in -hand with those agencies to come up with ways in which we can try to preserve populations of sage-grouse and also their habitat. Sage-grouse are a bird that occupies sagebrush step habitat. A lot of those habitats are being threatened and so the bird is being considered for listing under the Endangered Species Act. The main threat to sage-grouse in Idaho is wildfire. Uh, sage-grouse use sagebrush habitat for nesting, they eat sagebrush, so uh, a lot of the large-scale fires that are happening here in Idaho are threatening the bird and their habitat. The primary methods in which we use to track sage-grouse are, first of all, observing birds at leks or communal breeding areas where we count the number of grouse. And then we also use radio collars and radio telemetry equipment in which we can track grouse and understand better their movements and habitat use. During the six years I've worked here at Stoller, we've monitored the populations of sage-grouse and they appear to be remaining relatively stable. We're still collecting data and getting more information regarding the habitat extent and the habitat quality of these birds on the INL site.